Hi folks, and welcome back to another episode of Outbreak Reviews. I'm Neko, and I'll be showing you my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collection. It consists of comics, books, figures, and games. And now to the collection. These are my Mirage comics. Issue 1, 3rd print. Issue 2, 2nd print. Issue 3, 1st print. Digitoid One Shot and Gobbledygook Issue One Counterfeit Edition. These were seen in my Digitoid review. Uh, if you haven't seen them yet, please feel free to check them out. We continue on to Issue One Fourth Print, Issue One Fifth Print, Issue Three Second Print, Issue Four Second Print, Issue Five, Issue Six, Issue Seven. Issue 8, Issue 9, Issue 10, Leo Micro Series, Issue 11, Issue 12, Issue 13, Issue 45, signed by Dan Berger, Issue 50, Tales Issue 1, Tales Issue 25, signed by Peter Laird. Issue 1, Color Edition. Issue 1, Color Error Edition. Issue 1, Free Comic Book Day Edition, signed by Peter Laird. Now to my IDW comics. This is Issue 1, Color Classics. Issue 1, Cover A. Cover B. Cover C. Cover D, second print, third print, cover RE Jetpack, cover RE Hastings, Global Conquest Edition, issue 2, second print, third print, issue 3, cover RIA, Cover R.I.B. signed by Fred Hembeck. Issue 4. Cover B. Cover R.I.A. Cover R.I.B. signed by Fred Hembeck. We continue on to Issue 5. Cover B. Cover R.I. Raphael Marco Series. Michelangelo Marco Series. Cover B. Donatello Marco Series. Issue 6, cover B. Issue 7, cover B. Issue 8, cover B. Leo Micro Series. Issue 9, cover B. Issue 10, cover B. Issue 11, cover B. And one that I missed earlier, Issue 4 from the Mirage Series. This is my IDW Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Ultimate Collection Volume 1. It collects the Mirage issues 1 to 7, including the Raphael one shot. There is also some old sketch art at the end. As you can see, it's a hardcover and bigger than your average book. This is The Ultimate Collection Volume 2. It collects the Mirage issues 8 to 11, along with Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Donatello Micro Series one shot. Just like the first volume, it is presented in an oversized hardcover. If you haven't read these or are an old school fan, I recommend that you pick these up. Now onto the figures. These were released by NECA in 2008 and were based on the original Mirage series. From what you can see, my set is incomplete. Behind them is the RDW Issue 1 Ashcan Edition, signed by Kevin Eastman, Tom Waltz and Dan Duncan. This next set is the black and white variant of the previous, and was released as a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This set seems complete, although I'm missing one sword for Leo. Behind this set is a color photocopy of the cover of the first issue, and it is signed by Kevin Eastman. This was part of his time capsule which is included with any purchase from his website or ebay store. 
These are my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 25th Anniversary figures. I've got all four turtles, including Rocksteady, Bebop, Splinter, April. And again, uh, they're not complete, but all in all, still a cool set. You have now reached the end of my collection. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed collecting them. If you have any comments or questions about any of it, please feel free to ask. I'm Neko, thanks again for watching and stay tuned.